friends, welcome back to my vlog channel. Um, last night I found out my dad had just subscribed to my vlog channel. He was like, I didn't know that vlogs were a different thing, that they were two separate things. So, welcome dad. <laughs> um, today has been the longest day ever. It's been a weird day for work. Oh, I'm so tired. <sighs> but it is just 5.30. Feels like it could be 9 p.m. I'm waiting for my husband to call me. We're gonna go help his parents because his grandfather, his pops, is getting um, discharged from the hospital today, which is really exciting. He's gonna move in with Sam's parents. So it's always really positive when you get to leave the hospital after a really bad diagnosis. So we're really excited about that. So I have been talking myself up all day about these braces. Like, all day, I'm like, you can do it, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. And it really is not that big of a deal. Like it's so minor and compared to anything, it is literally gonna be four months. I think I'm stressed out about it because I know I'll have four months of content that I'll have braces in and it will just annoy me because I have to have braces again. And that's what like people were messaging me last night and they were like, I'm, you know, 24, I'm 26 and have braces and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 guys, it's annoying because I've done this already. That's why I'm annoyed about my braces. Because like, I thought I was done with this and I really thought that my teeth were never gonna move. And then it was like, once I started filming YouTube videos, I was like, crap, your teeth moved. And I realized it. So it's really just more of an annoyance thing because now I know I have to I have to pay out of my pocket. Like my parents did their t you know their parental job and paid for my braces and they paid for beautiful teeth and I didn't you know keep my teeth. Although these two suckers right here have maintained their beauty and they were a hot mess when I went in to get braces the first time. So really it's just a few teeth, but I'm more annoyed that it's just come to this again. But it's my fault. And that's what annoys me also because it's nobody else's fault but my own. Also wanted to tell you guys, so I'm not sure if you can see. I try to like, I have the thing down really low. Ugh. I try to keep my hands off my face. I'm trying to get a lot better about that. So I can't tell you if this product rubs off very easily um, or not yet. But I got a $4 foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm wearing the color Soft Beige. And it's actually pretty perfect. Um, I really love it um, all across like my whole face even on my nose I know that this spot right here can be a little bit of a problem area when it comes to like I don't know what it is about foundations wanting to break up right here um, especially like right under my eyes and I have not had any issues with this yet so I've only had it on for a few hours but it's wearing quite nicely so I definitely think let's see will you focus this is the name of it um, if you guys are looking for an affordable foundation, I already talked about the e.l.f. foundation. That one's really good. I like the concealer. The only thing is I'm noticing the longer I wear the concealer, like, I mean, like, over an eight-hour span, right here, the concealer will really start to break up and look bad. I wanted to show you guys my little baby girl. Say hello, everybody. Say hello. She's like, Mom, leave me alone. I'm napping. You hear those pretty little cat purrs? Hey guys, so, oh lord, the hair. Um, I wanted to tell you that I tried, I'm in my bathroom right now, which is why you hear that fan. I tried a new self tanner called Bondi Sands. Bondi Sands, and it's this one. It's the self tanning foam one hour. The reason that I got it was because it said, so the longer you leave it on, the darker you get. And then, like it has decent reviews. The smell is horrible. I hope you can really see a difference right there because I have it all on the neck. Literally, the minute I started putting it on my face, Sam started coughing and he hasn't stopped coughing since. What do you think it smells like? <clears throat> I mean, it smells the same as the other stuff it's just a lot stronger it smells like it, it, has, it has a much stronger chemical it does have a much stronger chemical smell like for sure which is kind of scary because you know I never really thought about that aspect of tanning yeah so I'll keep you guys updated 
I mean, the color looks decent. I wouldn't say it's like, hold on, let me flip you guys around. I mean, I definitely wouldn't say it's like the most exciting thing in the world. Some people, they're probably like, this is not tan. This is still pretty tan. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see, because you can definitely see a difference like here, but I don't know. So I'll keep you all updated. I'll let you know in about 40 more minutes. L, oh freaking L. That is how I feel about this stuff. So I remembered I had not checked in with you guys and told you about this tanning product. And because I'm on my way to return it, or hopefully return it, uh, I figured I'd let you know it was a horrible bust. First of all, I don't know if I told you guys, the smell is horrendous. Like, I described it as gas. Sam described it as extremely just chemically. He was like, it just smells like straight up chemicals. And he's like, you've had some odd smelling tanning product before. He was like, I'm not comfortable with you putting that on your body because that reeks. And there's something in there that you don't need to be rubbing all over your skin and letting seep in for hours. The weirdest thing is I get, or I've gotten like 10 to 15 messages about how good people think that stuff is. And I was like, do you use this product? And only like two of them were like, yes, I've only used, I've used that kind before and I liked it. Other people were like, no, I use the long term, like the, uh, similar to the Jergens that I have on right now, like that you put it on, you wait eight hours or whatever. And so maybe it's this product. I don't know how anybody can stand that smell. Like Sam started coughing when I put it on and he stopped coughing when I showered. I felt like I reeked all night, all night last night and literally it washed off in the shower. Like I got out of the shower and I was like, so there's no tan, great. And someone told me it's supposed to get, like it's supposed to gradually get better. I'll show you my <laughs> leg. This is like with one coat, usually I put two on. But this is with one coat of the uh, Jergens. Whenever I am trying to get tan, it is never to get super dark. That will never be my goal. Um, I'll never, like I buy the color in the Jergens Deep Bronze because it's still fairly light, but I'll never buy, or at least I say that, I don't have any plans on buying the Loving Tan in dark. I buy the medium color just because I think I don't know. As a redhead, I feel like I look a little bit crazy if I have dark skin. Like, I've done the dark tan before, and I looked... I don't know. It's weird. Redheads, if they get in tanning beds, our skin... If it's a tan, like, on your skin from the sun from a tanning bed, it tends to turn our skin a very reddish tan. So a lot of redheads that I know that do tan, their skin will turn a very similar color to their hair, and it will kind of blend in, and it's very odd. Um, so redheads are, like, meant to have porcelain skin, so I would never, like, want to just truly take away from that. There's definitely times in, like, June and July I'm like, okay, I'm literally white as snow. <laughs> but for me, this is super tan, and I realize there is a line on my face foot. Fabulous. Um, I might pick up like some of the Jergens natural glow, like, uh, moisturizer while I'm there. I'm out of that. And it just kind of helps like prolong the life of the tan, but I'm in my car now in case you can't tell. And I'm on my way to return it. We'll see if they let me, but it was 30 effing dollars. Smelled like gas and just wash off. Just like sat here and talked about a tanning product for four minutes. So it's okay. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, back home. Just got the mail. Oh, no, 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 don't fall into the black hole death. Okay, so they let me, hold on. Okay, I'm blogging, which is why if you hear me talking, you're not like, what the heck? So they let me return it. I was telling the lady in the front um, I was like, yeah, I used it and it smelled like gasoline. And she was like, you are not the first person who has returned this and said that. So good to know. Good to know I'm not the only one. And then she was, she was like, it's 30 bucks. I better not ever pay 30 bucks for something and it stink and not work. And I was like, exactly. And I said, that's why I'm returning it. Cause usually I don't return stuff, but I'm doing it today. Okay. So I'm going to actually change out the tripod on the bottom of this. Cause this one is 
It's a bit broken. Okay, so the tripod's broken, so I'm gonna change out the tripod. And I wanna show you guys the Nespresso pods that I bought because I get a ton of questions about my Nespresso and Nespresso pods that I like. Of course, everybody's taste buds are different, so I guess people just like kind of want a starting point. If you do get an Nespresso, I will link the post in the description bar below of the full post that I've shared before on the Nespresso that I have, it's the Ascenza Many, I believe, and it's little, which is why I like it, because I don't like to have a bunch of bulky <sighs> appliances on my countertop. So I also got, if you go, I feel like 90% of my vlogs, you guys are seeing my kitchen, because the lighting is just so good. So good. All right, so, um, I went on Nespresso. I bought my Nespresso in person from Target. I was kind of mad at myself because usually you can get a discount if you do it online. Um, but it did come with like a code or something. So I got onto Nespresso.com and I was able to get a starter pack. So it sent like one or two pods of their most popular and then it just sent like a few pods of the other things. And then I also got a welcome gift. So this is the welcome gift I chose. And then these pods, I have found I like are the in vivo lungo which is this one the Levanto so like this one's a little bit more red and then this one is actually my favorite this is the Kosi Kosi this one's a level four and I believe these are a level six so and you can recycle those little pods they'll actually send you a bag to recycle them in so always always do that all right so i got um i have actually tried these before and i do not like them this is the our arpeggio arpeggio like they're purple they send one decaf and one regular they're very bitter so i got three more of the cosi cosi ones they are a level four so you can tell mm, it's gonna focus on your face can you move <sighs> Trying to show them. Okay, so it's a four. What? You just start at me vlogging. It's weird. What do you think they do when they watch on the screen? They're just staring at your face. Zayla, you're so cute. Anyway, then I got the Caramelito variations. That's a six. So that one looks a little bit different. It's got like the little stripes. This camera is not focusing today. See the little stripes on it. And then finally, I tried out the vanilla, yeah, vanilla variations, which is also a six. So any of the variation pods have little, you can see the little mild stripes on there. So I'm excited to try these out because I like the cozy, cozy, whatever, but I don't know. I need a little bit of flavor. So how was your day, babe? So I'll um, catch in with you guys in a little bit. Tonight we are going to go buy a TV for Sam. That is his early anniversary present. He wants a smart TV. So I'll see if I can film some of that. Hey guys. So I got my husband his anniversary present. He's so excited. Although he's not showing it. It's a 50 inch smart TV. <laughs> The feet are silver. I'm not painting the feet to the TV. Like Nobody that. will notice. Feet are silver. All right, we're gonna set it up. I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little excited. It's kind of a gift for me too. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, May. 19th right now and if you have been a part of either my main well i guess yeah my main channel um for over a year now you know that this time last year i did my wedding week vlogs i started on the saturday before my wedding and of course because i didn't have my vlog channel um they're all like all of those vlogs are on my main channel <laughs> i started at sam's graduation and so it is a year later of course not the date exactly and we are well almost i mean i guess tomorrow it would be here we are headed out now to the same like wofford graduation because some of sam's teammates graduate today like his old teammates his best man graduates today so we are going out to that why is that here straight what why are you straight 
Oh, you're curly down there. Great. So, we're gonna head out. I'm going to try and vlog a little bit just because I vlogged it like this time last year, but we'll see if I can remember. We're kind of going a little bit late on purpose because the very beginning of graduation is super boring. So, baby, we gotta go. Hey guys, so graduation is over. We actually got there after after Conrad had already walked, but we got to see him and a few of other Sam's old teammates um, after graduation was like over. So now we're on our way to Needle. It's hot. And I think you guys are always asking, oddest thing, to share what we get at Lidl because just like I guess our friends last night were like, does Lidl have everything? So I'll be sharing that later and then that will end out the vlog. So see you soon. Okay. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower, which is why my hair is like this. Um, I wasn't able to like really film a grocery haul earlier because I was um, kind of just like focused on getting all the groceries up because it's hot and they've been in the hot trunk. So I'm going to cook dinner with Sam now. <laughs> But then I'm going to finish it out because this vlog literally has to go up tomorrow and I have to edit it tonight before work tomorrow. So if you are new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that I see you in my next vlog.